Carlisle. My friend Luke and I, we've come out here today to share Jesus' Christ with you all. We've come out here today to preach Jesus Christ, to preach the gospel that Jesus Christ was crucified, buried and rose again from the dead. And we've come out here because maybe you need prayer. Maybe you have something wrong. Maybe you have a disease. Maybe you have a sore leg. Maybe you have an ailment that you need to be, that we need to pray for you about. Did you know that Jesus Christ, he can heal you? Did you know that Jesus Christ can take away sickness? The Bible says he can take away sickness from you. Did you know that Jesus Christ, when he was in the world, he gave sight to the blind? Did you know that he healed lepers? Did you know that Jesus Christ not only did these powerful miracles, but the Lord Jesus Christ, he came into the world to set us free from our sins. The Bible says, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And it's because of our sin that it's all on display before God. Everything we do in this life, every sin we ever commit is on display in the eyes of a holy God. And it's for this reason that no sinner can enter heaven. It is for this reason that we cannot get to heaven when we die without a Savior. But the good news is that the Lord Jesus Christ entered into creation. For God so loved the world, the Bible says, that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall never perish, but have everlasting life. That could be you today. You can have everlasting life. You can have eternal life in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he died, was buried, and rose again. Jesus Christ is the only perfect man who ever lived. Jesus Christ is the only good man that ever lived. And Jesus Christ did something. Did something for us 2,000 years ago. He came into the world not to condemn us. But he came into the world to save sinners. He, he, he was crucified. Placed in a tomb. And was risen from the dead. God raised him up from the dead and the Bible says that if you shall confess the Lord Jesus Christ with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a message of hate. This is not a message of condemnation. This is a message of hope that through Jesus Christ and him alone, you can have relationship with God. You can know God. His peace can set you free. His peace can be in your heart. And you can walk with God by faith today if you put your trust in Him. Forget about all these other religions out there. They are not the way to God. Forget about Mormonism. Forget about Roman Catholicism. Forget about Islam. All these religions lead further and further away from the one true God. The Bible says there is one God and one mediator between man and God. And it is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Only through Him can we find the truth. Only through Jesus Christ can we have freedom. Only through Jesus Christ can our eyes become open to the truth. You're not here by random chance. You weren't a mistake. You are wonderfully and fearfully loved by God. When God made Adam, the Bible says, he breathed into him the spirit of life. And it is because of Adam and Eve that we are here, not through evolution, not through chance, but through one man, 
Adam and Eve. The Bible says that Adam brought sin into the world. And as a result, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But the good news of the gospel is there is a way back to God through Jesus Christ, through his blood that can wash away your sins. You can be clean before a holy God. A God who sees all of your sin, all the sins that you do in secret, for nothing is hidden from the eyes of God. Every lie we've ever told is on display. Every time we've ever been selfish, every time we've ever hunt someone, hit someone or went into the bars and got drunk or committed fornication or adultery, that is all on display before God. And the Bible says that what the judge of the, the entire earth do right, God will be the judge. God is our judge. And one day we are all going to stand before Jesus Christ where the Bible says every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Ladies and gentlemen, don't stand before God with your sin. Don't stand before God unsaved. There is a Savior who can save you. And his name is Jesus Christ. The Bible says, whoever calls upon his name shall be saved. Whoever calls upon the name of Christ Jesus shall be saved. That can be you today. You can know the truth and the truth can set you free. Ladies and gentlemen, nobody gets to heaven except to be through Jesus Christ. You can be the most upstanding citizen in your town. You can have the best reputation, the most friends. You can wear the most fancy clothes. But if you do not have the Lord Jesus Christ, you cannot enter into heaven. If you are not born again, the doors of heaven will be closed. On that day when you stand before God, the doors will be closed. Because the Bible says we must be righteous to enter heaven. The Bible says only through, only through Christ Hello. Jesus can we become righteous. Only through Christ Jesus can we escape the wrath of a holy God. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a hell and a heaven. A hell to, to shun and a, a heaven to gain, and you can gain eternal life today. You can know your sins are forgiven. You don't have to die in your sins in any way of God, of God. You don't have to go to that awful place called hell, where the Bible says the rich man died and went to, and, and hell he woke and found himself in hell. Ladies and gentlemen, hell is real. Let me tell you something. I've heard many testimonies of people who, who died and went to hell and God allowed them to come back and they said hell was far beyond anything that we can ever imagine. Hell is a lost eternity without God forever. Jesus Christ preached more about hell than any other man and he said it is a place of weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. How do you go to hell? There are a million ways into hell. And there's only one way to avoid going. The Lord Jesus Christ, who gave his life for our sins, who, who died. The Bible says, he who knew no sin became sin for us, that we might become his righteousness. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a savior by, by the name of Jesus Christ. We have met him. We know him. He's our savior. And we know our sins are forgiven. We know we're going to heaven when we die because we know the Lord Jesus Christ and he has forgiven us of our sins and he has saved us from hell fire. He has saved us from hell. We are born again and we wish this for you today. We want, we want you to come to the truth. We want you to be set free and know God today and have a relationship with God like we do. But you can only have this if you will be willing to repent today and take the Lord Jesus Christ, believe on him, put your faith on him, and you will be saved. If you would like to come over here with my friend Luke, we can pray for you. Maybe you have something you need to be prayed for, like an ailment. But most importantly, we can tell you more about Jesus Christ. Because we love you enough to come out here and share the truth to you so that you might be forgiven today. 
and know you're going to heaven. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.